approximately 10 hours later. I made it to Berlin. A lot of hours of traveling. I can't lie, it was actually a really nice flight and I am so happy to be here. And my hotel room is beautiful and literally everything here is amazing. Look at this, like what? That's insane. Everything, so cool. Here's this, we got a little, a little letter. Um, but I'm here for Saint Laurent and I have I was left some goodies. I thought I should do like a little a little unboxing starting off They gave me these I feel very cool gave me this little Saint Laurent candle Smells fancy So I'm assuming I think this is like a matchbox or something I'm guessing I'm guessing I could be really wrong and it's got my initials engraved on it, which is so cool. And does this work? Got a lighter? It does work. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. This is the letter. So I'm gonna read this and take these off. Okay, I'm totally messing up this envelope right now. But my first flight to Netherlands from LAX, it was really good. Like I, I was in business class, I slept on the whole flight. It was, it was wonderful, okay? Well, when I landed in the Netherlands, um, the passport line was super long and I'm waiting in this line. My flight is boarding in like, like I think, I think we had like 40 minutes, but this line, when I say this line was long, I mean, this line was like, it was packed. I've never seen anything like it. They brought me to the front of the line because I was like, listen, my flight's going to board here. Like, like I'm not going to make it to my flight. Okay. So I'm rushing down. My guy told me I was at gate D68. Okay. I'm going, it's like probably a five, 10 minute walk. So it brings me around. I'm like, okay, it brings me to like D68. It brings me like down these like this stairs to like this group of people, but they were like blocked off on like this clear door and there. And I was like knocking like, hey, can you guys like let me in? They're like, oh, go around. So I pressed these buttons to open, like unlock the doors. Cause it said like in a different language, like basically open door, I thought it said. So I opened the door and it sounded off the airport alarms. So then all of a sudden I had like a warrant out for me and the security team came and grabbed me when I was like walking through the airport and I was lost, dude. I didn't know where I was going. They took my passport. They took my plane ticket. I was like, listen, like I'm just trying to get to this flight and it's about to board. I think it was 9.50. I think my flight took off at 10.15, okay? And the guy's like, uh, they can't help me with anything. It's just the security team. And they said they had profiled me off the cameras and all these things. And they like caught me and all this stuff. Okay. And I was like, listen, I thought this just opened the door. So all of a sudden, like they finally clear me after questioning me and all this stuff. They let me go, but they're like, dude, your thing's at D78. So I, I've never ran in my life in the airport because that's, I find it so embarrassing. But this was like one of those times where I was like, I just need to suck it up and haul ass. So I'm literally hauling ass through this airport all the way to D78, jump on my plane. The doors were literally like closing. I get on my plane and I was like drenched in sweat at this point. I think it was cause I was, I was stressed, but now I'm in Berlin. And I guess that was like the crazy little story about all that. So for breakfast, I got these pancakes some scrambled eggs and then this is granola chia pudding and then coffee mm. coffee coffee to me is like one of those things where i feel like i have to have it Otherwise, my days are just not the same. Like, that sounds so corny, but I really love coffee. I've loved coffee. I feel like if you've been following me, like you guys know that I've loved coffee for year, like years, for sure. I feel like I romanticize coffee. I should be probably drinking water. I haven't had water yet, but I did drink like six bottles of water last night. But I love coffee. I need, I need coffee first. You're kidding me. That is the best pancake I think I've had in my life. Um, 
I wanted to show you guys my little routine that I use for like my moisturizer and hair. I've been using uh, Drunk Elephants products, uh, specifically these two and this product as well. I use all three at once on my face. For me, like I have really sensitive skin and, and especially after shaving, any moisturizer I've put on, it's always made my skin like burn and I feel like that's not supposed to happen. And I just feel good using these products. I've been using them for almost a year now and I feel like that's just part of my routine. Also, a very frequently asked question I get is, what do I use for my hair? Um, so I just showered, I washed with shampoo and conditioner, and then I apply two to three like drops of this K18 hair oil. I've been using this for about a month now, and it, that's all I add to my hair, and I feel like when it dries, it just looks really good. Usually hair oil is a hit or miss with me, and this product specifically has worked really good. I don't have to add anything else but this. Another option that I also use sometimes if I'm going more for like a tighter curl, crunchier look with my hair is this Moroccan oil curl cream. This, I've been using this also for about almost over a year now, and it's one of the only curl creams that really just makes my hair not look oily. Yeah, I really recommend this product. Uh, depends on what kind of hair you have, obviously, but I really enjoy using that product. Putting necklaces on by yourself is like really difficult. <laughs> like sometimes I'll be sitting here for like 10 minutes just trying to keep the little hook open, you know? There we go. This has kind of been like my jewelry layout lately. Um, fun fact, this bracelet that I've been wearing for years, I get a lot of questions on this too. This was actually my mom's when she was a kid and it was made by her godfather who was a jeweler and he, he passed away, but it was a gift when she was like a, a young kid from him and she passed it on to me and it's a very, very nice bracelet. And it's like kind of like a good luck charm to me. Like I have to wear it you know, or I have to bring it wherever I'm going. Makes me feel like I got my mom with me, makes me feel like I got, like, I'm safe, you know, I'm safe. Like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like everyone's got that, like, one thing, and I feel like this bracelet's my one thing, you know? Mm -hmm.